My name's uh, Eddie Rudman, and I'm here because today I did a piece, or performed with a troupe of actors, uh, a piece in celebration of Charles Dickens uh, in front of the Queen, and kindly she's invited a lot of people associated with Charles Dickens, um, some of his family and uh, people in that literary world, uh, to the palace. It was, it was lovely, absolutely lovely. It was, it was nerve-wracking performing before her uh, earlier in the day, but um, it was... Uh, it's wonderful. It felt, it felt like a sort of band of actors. <laughs> it felt, it felt very, uh, I don't know, it felt sort of slightly otherworldly and surreal. But it was wonderful. I think we in the family have been overwhelmed by the interest that's been in the bicentenary. Um, he was, of course, a very special man. But 200 years ago is a long time. The 7th of February was the bicentenary day, and a lot of events have been. Uh, took place on that day. But there are an enormous number of exhibitions, museums, putting on shows, films, books, publications. It, throughout the entire year, and we're unveiling a, a statue, the very first statue of Dickens, in Portsmouth in September. So it's non-stop. It's going to keep going. I think his work is timeless. The reason that it's survived for so long, and all of his works are still in print, is because what he wrote is still exactly as important today as it was in Victorian times. She's such an amazing person. She's so genuine, so nice, so interested in everybody. Um, enormous honour.